guys, welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am doing the last Q&A of 2018. I'm here on the couch in my toddler-sized Santa's hat to get you into the holiday spirits. I'm not kidding, this is actually a size 62. Like for babies that are six months old. <laughs> That's what fits my fucking tiny shaved head. <laughs> anyway, you guys asked on Facebook and Instagram, no theme, um, there were 36 of you that asked and uh, out of those 13 of those questions had already been answered before I have a Q&A playlist here on YouTube So if your question is not featured in this video, it's because I've answered it in a previous one So please go and check my Q&A playlist to find the answer there So we have 23 people asking questions in today's video Some have asked one question, some have asked like four, so uh, we're gonna get to it Modded Beard Boy says, what are your piercing, stretching or tattoo plans for 2019? I don't like to give away details ahead of time. Piercing wise, I only have one thing that I would really like to do, but I haven't decided 100% that I'm gonna do it yet. And that is an industrial in one of my ears. I've been wanting that for a long time, but because the healing is a bitch, I've been a little hesitant, so I still haven't fully decided. I just think it would look really fucking cool. So we'll see. No plans for stretching. Tattoos, I have lots of tattoo plans. That's like where I have a long ass list, but I don't have anything like set. I don't have any specific order for when I'm gonna do which thing. And uh, so I'm not like comfortable revealing anything yet because I don't know. Ismai says, what's your current all-time favorite beer type and name what accessory you can be without? Can be without or can't be without? It says can. I'm gonna answer can because that's what it says. Okay, first of all, my current favorite beer type. Because I'm back on low carb, high fat since September 1st, I don't drink as much beer as I previously have because it has a lot of carbs. The beer is delicious. I'm never gonna stop drinking it. Uh, but I'm like trying to be strict at the moment. So I'm drinking super, super dry wines and like completely sugar-free alcoholic beverages instead of beer. But if I did pick a beer favorite, there is a raspberry beer that I really like, like a raspberry sour beer. I can't remember the brand of it. The label has a little fox on it. It's so delicious. It's like a very fruity, drink it, it's kind of almost not like a beer it's just it's really good but i'm sorry i can't remember the brand and an accessory that i can be without i mean is a belt i fucking hate belts other than my bullet belt that's one i like belts that you use with the intent to keep your pants up i don't need that i'll, I'll just let them slouch down off my ass instead zombie eater point two says how are you in general i am good thank you how's your life it's awesome do you see yourself do doing youtube in many years to come it depends. I love doing content for YouTube, but YouTube itself has become super shitty lately. I've lost like two thirds of all my viewers, not subscribers. I still have the same amount of subscribers, but like people aren't seeing my videos. For instance, when I posted about this Q&A, a lot of you people keep asking for me to make videos and stuff that I've already made in the past. And that's gotta mean that you haven't been notified when I've been posting, which is really annoying. I keep making videos two times a week. I've been doing that for years and people are just not getting notified about it. So I'm really pissed at YouTube, but I really want it to work because I love working with you guys. What are your opinions on weed, acid, mushrooms, and other kinds of drugs? I don't do drugs, so I don't fucking know. Never tried any of those. Do you think you have officially found yourself? Yeah, that was years ago. I've been very secure in who I am as a person for many years now. Creative Muse Inc. says, have you seen the movie Coco? I have, and uh, I, I'm a little torn about it because like the first half hour of watching it, I was so fucking pissed off. What kind of fucking family treats a child like that because they like music? Like seriously, I want to just like strangle the parents and just like throw rocks at people. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it gets better, but it wasn't my favorite movie, I gotta say. Pumpkin Got the Munchies says, do you have a tutorial on, on doing the X-Brows? If not, could you make one? I don't have a standalone video for just the X-Brows, but they're featured in several of my makeup tutorials. So if you just search for makeup on my main YouTube page, you'll find all my makeup videos, and then you can just see in the caption if the X-Brows are featured or not. If they are, 
they should be included in that video. Fem Galaxy says, what's your favorite holiday cocktail and any holiday traditions? I was thinking that I might make a Tez holiday cocktail video for you guys before Christmas if I have time for it. I don't have any like traditional cocktails that I drink for Christmas. I mostly like drinking dry sparkly wine. That's like all year round. The thing we drink here in Sweden for the holidays is a version of a mulled wine, which is a hot red wine and you put um, like skinned almonds and raisins in there. Eh, it's not my favorite thing. They're usually super sweet and you guys know that I don't like sweet stuff. There is a sugar-free one that I'm okay with drinking like a little sip of, but other than that, eh, I don't know. Cocktails, I like my usual cocktails, so uh, nothing like super holiday related. If I have any holiday traditions, well, one of the things that I can mention, on December 13th we celebrate Lucia here in Sweden, which is originally from Italy, but we brought it here and just kind of took it over and yeah, it's weird. Um, so there's like a Lucia train with men and women dressed in all white. They have candlelight and they have red ribbons around uh, their waist and the Lucia is the woman in front who's like the main person. She has candles in her hair and there's like gingerbread men and people with Santa's hats and they sing and it's gorgeous and stuff. And my, one of my traditions is that I get up on December 13th very early in the morning when it's all dark and I kind of snuggle up with my blanket and I have one of those little glasses of that sugar-free mulled wine that I talked about and I watch that because it, it airs at like 7 in the morning or something on Swedish um, TV. And uh, yeah, I just watch that and like snuggle up to the songs and then I go back to bed. So that's one of my traditions that I've been doing every year since I moved out of my parents' house pretty much. <clears throat> Nymphadora Joe says, As a riot girl, do you think the movement has become more inclusive and welcoming to women of color in recent years? Yeah, I definitely think so. For one, because the Riot Girl movement has kind of had a comeback lately, so to speak. And all in all, I feel like on social media and other platforms, we're talking more and more about inclusion. So for any movement that includes feminism, which obviously the Riot Girl movement does, that's like a huge part of it. But obviously I'm a white, like middle class, lady living in Sweden, what the fuck do I know of other people's experiences and stuff? So I could be completely wrong, but I feel like we're at least talking about it more, which is good. Lexi Luca says, best place online to buy piercing jewelry. I buy all my shit from Crazy Factory. Are you gonna do any holiday winter themed videos on upcycling modifying clothes? I don't think I'm gonna have time for more DIY videos before Christmas. I might be lying now, I don't know yet. Like I haven't decided the final two videos before um, the end of the year, but I don't think I'm gonna do any holiday themed DIYs. I'm not like big on, this is as much as I do people for, <laughs> for like dressing up for Christmas. This tiny little thing, I'm gonna wear that for Christmas and look like a complete dork with my husband's family, but that's it. Like I don't do crazy festive stuff. I like Halloween, you guys know that. I might wear some red, that's like as far as I'll stretch. Casket Rat says, what do you think about the fast fashion industry, human worker rights violations, waste and pollution? Do you ever feel that you shouldn't support Shein because of the industry? Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why I don't buy as much from shops, like new stuff as I used to do. I try to thrift as much as possible, take stuff that I have and remake them. You guys know that I love DIY and thrifting. That's like my main thing. And a lot of that is because I want to contribute to recycling instead of just buying new stuff. So if you want to make sure that every everything that you're buying is like fair trade, equal rights for workers and all that stuff. You can't go into most stores because uh, there's always like something if you dig deep enough. I feel like you gotta either make the decision to cut off all of those companies or for a couple ones that you truly like and like try to do as much thrifting for the rest of the time as possible. But for me, it's a matter of trying to thrift as much as possible. Owl Queen says, can you post some what I eat in a day videos? See, I've done this in the past. There are videos about this. And also, I'm not crazy big on doing this. Again, this is kind of back to like dieting and uh, that kind of stuff that I really just hate talking about. So what I eat in a day, uh, I myself don't really find those videos super interesting to watch. I understand for like inspiration and food and stuff, but that's why I started making like cooking videos every now and then. They're not that frequent. I know I should be making them more often. But what I eat in a day, I don't know. Do you guys want to see that? Do you like seeing that kind of stuff? I feel like it's not very fun to watch. Foot he sell cough. What kind of things do you like to read or recommend? I've been super shit at reading books lately. I just kind of read comic books and watch movies and TV and I fucking suck. So I don't know if I can recommend anything. I want to recommend the Tank Girl um, comic books though. 
They're freaking fantastic. Ginger Snaps Mabe says, what are your favorite places to watch the sun rise or set? I guess the summer house is pretty gorgeous. Like a warm summer night and you watch the sun go down. I haven't done that in a while though, like in years, I think. Ravy1 says, do you guys think you'll ever have rats again? Nope, because I developed rat allergy and got asthma from them. Paula Walla 89 says, have you ever been to Dublin? I have not. Zen Life Daily says, will you ever do a vlog series telling us about your daily life or more about your country? I've done a day in the life of a couple of times. I have like some plans to do more of that, but I don't, it's not like a fully developed idea yet. So we'll see, I'll get back to you guys about that. Baby Bat Cat says, how do you get your hair so white? What products do you use? See, again, if you've seen my videos on YouTube, you would have known what I use because every single time that I update my hair, I make a video on it. And uh, yeah, right now it's more silvery than white because I added some lilac, which I posted a video about. So uh, yeah, you can go watch that to see the process. Like obviously I have so, so, so little hair, so it's a lot easier for me to get my hair to silvery white than for somebody who has a full head of hair. But you just bleach it and then you get rid of the yellow. There are different ways to do that. But this time I've been using a homemade mix of uh, like a lilac whitener, white tuner. And that's what's gotten it to this point. But go check out those videos. We have videos for that exact purpose to show you guys how I do that. Zoe Bear says, how's your outfit modeling going? My outfit modeling? Do you mean for my lookbooks? It's going good, I guess. <laughs> Jack Nippleson says, what advice can you give about gaining subscribers on YouTube? See again here with the YouTube because right now I'm kind of pissed off with YouTube because people aren't seeing my videos. So if I started out now, I would maybe consider trying a different platform because YouTube, yeah, it's being shitty right now. So, <laughs> but I mean, for gaining subscribers, check out what other people are doing within the area that you want to make videos within. And uh, like, think about what you can bring to it that's specific for you. You don't want to just copy somebody else and then just try it out and get a feel for what your audience likes. Sandy King says, where is the most romantic spot you've been to? See, the thing about stuff being romantic is that can be any freaking spot. Like a nice hotel room can be super fucking romantic. So when me and my husband got married two years ago, we stayed in a lovely hotel suite and uh, it was all the walls except for one were glass. So we had an amazing view and it was dark and we saw like traffic and all the lights and stuff and we had champagne and it was beautiful and it was romantic because we just got married and we were all like giggly and happy and all dressed up and yeah, that was the best fucking moment of my life, I think. <laughs> Emma Corkhouse says, what's your favorite memory from this year? Um, it's gotta be going on that punk cruise with my girls that I did in May this year because that was so fucking fun. I've never laughed that much in my entire life, honestly. That's just, I wanna do that again next year. Emily Jorgensen says, what has been the hardest thing about being self-employed? Not knowing from month to month if you're gonna have money or not or how much money you're gonna have, trying to plan ahead, trying to save up so you have money that you can use if there's like a low work month. So just, yeah, just planning for finances in a way that you don't have to do if you have a secured salary. Janine Jones, what's your dream holiday? My dream holiday is the one where I can combine um, like some beach time, going swimming time with um, like big city stuff. I wanna do like some shopping and I wanna have some lovely cocktails and some great food and um, look at some fun cultural shit. And uh, yeah, like do all of those things, not just lay on the beach or not just go look at stuff. Like the combination of those two is perfect. Z Milton says, how is your pup-up doing? My pup-up is actually no longer a pup-up because he's two and a half now and that's like the limit for when you call them adults. I'm just gonna keep calling him a puppy though because he's so freaking tiny and cute and he's doing good, thanks. He is sleeping on the floor beside me right now and I also have my bonus doggy Sally sleeping on the side. They're both super tired today so they're not gonna be appearing in this video, sorry guys. So uh, yeah, that was all the questions, people. Again, if you asked and your questions question was not featured, it's because I've already answered it in a previous video. So go check out my Q&A playlist. Thank you guys so much for asking and for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Remember, do no harm, but take no shit. Bye!